we're back with Giant Dreams Under Construction. Our second guest today is Andrew Zeleny. He is an aspiring actor and he's actually done some work out in BC and he's currently a second year Lakehead University nursing student. Welcome to the show today, Andrew. Thanks so, for having me. First of all, how do you go from acting to nursing? Um, well, from acting to nursing, um, for me it started you know, in Vancouver, the acting jobs were too few and far between. Mm -hmm. I was making most of my money as a waiter. And so I thought about job prospects where I'd be pretty much guaranteed to have a job once completed my training. And nursing was the one that jumped out at me the most. Like, I'm a really caring person. I want to help people and I want to travel with work. And nursing fit all of those categories. You know, it's really cool. I never thought about traveling as a benefit to nursing mm -hmm. but yeah i guess once you get your mm -hmm. degree is that what it is a nursing yeah. degree yeah so you can travel all over canada or all over the world with that all over the world that's awesome mm -hmm. okay so let's let's shift back a little bit mm -hmm. now you were you've always been just this super friendly spirited person and it didn't surprise anybody when you decided to up and move to bc and mm -hmm. pursue an acting career what what got you thinking that you wanted to be an actor and what made you take that leap to just throw yourself in? Well, um, the funny thing is how it started. I was in business when I got out of high school. I was studying at Confederation College and then I was in Jamaica um, on spring break and I was reading the book The Secret and I was just like reading this book and it talks all about your dreams and how you can manifest whatever you want. Yeah. And I was in Jamaica on the beach reading the book and I was like, this, what am I doing? Like, I don't want to be in business. That's not what I want to do. So I realized that I've always wanted to be an actor. And so I came back from school, finished, or I came back from my trip, finished my first year of um, business. And then during um, completion of my first year, I actually applied to acting school in Vancouver. I was going to go to New York, but my parents said it was too too big <laughs> and they're like you're not going to New York City and I was like okay well I'll go to Vancouver then even though it's like three times as far and uh, yeah so I moved to Vancouver that summer it happened so fast and did you did you ever doubt what you could do or did you just you decided that's it um, I can't no looking back I'm doing this the only doubts that I had was how much I was going to miss home and how hard it was going to be to be away from family because I was only 19 years old. That's young. I was leaving home for the first time and I've got a really big family and just was like, I was terrified and I didn't know one single person in Vancouver and I just made it work because that was my dream. So when you, when you got to Vancouver, mm -hmm. um, you were enrolled in acting school, so that must have made it a little easier to make friends. You're in a yeah, class, right? Absolutely. And so when was your first job or what types of jobs were you looking at um, as an actor? Well, when I finished acting school immediately, I needed to find any job mm. so I can survive. make money and survive yeah. and pay rent. And... Um, one of my first um, acting gigs was a play that I was in and it, I loved it and I learned a lot from it and then slowly as time went on in Vancouver um, I needed more money to survive mm -hmm. and I didn't have enough time for acting and so it kind of was brushed away because the cost of living goes up and you, know, you move to a different place and yeah. It became harder and harder to make money as an actor or have time for acting because you're working so much. Okay, so that's that's probably a difficulty that mm -hmm. most most aspiring actors, no matter where they mm -hmm. are, would face. Absolutely. Now, you made the decision to come back home. You you still look at acting mm -hmm. jobs. You haven't totally forgotten about that one passion, no. but now you've taken on a more uh, a more I wouldn't say helpful, even though it's physically helpful, mm -hmm. and as an actor, you can help by telling stories, but you've decided to go into nursing, and I know that the nursing program is 
it, it's a tough program and Lakehead University is a very good school. Mm -hmm. What are your experiences so far being a second year nursing student here at Lakehead? Um, my experiences so far, I mean, I've survived first year, so <laughs> that's great. Um, now second year in one month now, it's a heavy workload. The amount of homework and reading is heavy and yeah. you just have to keep up with it and keep going. And I know in the end it's going to pay off and I'm going to be able to live my dream, whether it's as a nurse or an acting nurse, or maybe I'll play a nurse on a TV show one maybe day. Maybe you'll be on the new ER. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would be yeah. awesome. That would go hand in that hand. Would. So what is your goal from everything? If you can, like you've just referenced, like if you mm -hmm. could be an actor playing a nurse mm -hmm. on TV, like what would be your ultimate dream, ultimate goal this moment right now? Um, to finish nursing school and um, and pass and pass <laughs> and get uh, my bachelor of science in nursing and then um, I think my plan after that is to move away from Thunder Bay and I'm not sure where yet but I want to travel somewhere yeah and be a nurse you're very mm -hmm. you've you've done things like you've gone on round the world mm -hmm. trips already so where mm -hmm. would you if you could be a nurse anywhere, using your skills that you've gained here in Thunder Bay, what would be your ultimate destination? Or where do you think you could be the most helpful in the world from your travels and from your experience? Um, I am uncertain about that at this moment, but yeah. I am taking a Spanish course. And so who knows, maybe it'll be somewhere in Spain. I visited Spain last summer and I loved it. So yeah. being able to speak the language, it'll be different in the hospital setting, but yeah. Um, so you're going to have to learn all of the tools mm -hmm. and all of the procedures in Spanish. In Spanish. Oh my goodness. So yeah. if you thought that nursing school was hard, yeah. <laughs> now try to translate it to Spanish and relearn it. Oh my God. So you have, you have some pretty big uh, goals, even though mm -hmm. they're still undefined. You know, just talking about taking your experience and your education and sharing it mm -hmm. anywhere that is basically that you can be used or needed. Absolutely. That that's that's a very very um, selfless kind of thing. Like, yes, you'll get to travel, you'll get to explore the world, but you also know that a lot of those places that you're thinking of and that mm -hmm. you've been to require a lot of help mm -hmm. so it takes a lot of bravery and courage first of all to even just leave your family mm -hmm. like you said you have a huge family i know you have nieces mm -hmm. and nephews that's courage in itself um to put yourself out there on a limb being an actor takes a lot of courage and to know that you're responsible for other people's lives or other people's health like like thank you for being you andrew like and thank i really you. hope that you do very well at Lakehead this year and I hope you do complete and I just thank you so much for everything and for being a part of the show today and we'll be right back.